Well, hello, everybody. Oh, it's dance party time. My husband just walked in the office, and you know what? This is a perfect time to talk about the awkwardness of being a speaker. It is awkward. And when we practice, sometimes we got to do it around other people who are like, what are you doing? And those are the moments where we have to get out of our head and get back into our bodies. So that's what we're doing, okay? Keep your way up and stretch. We talk a lot about just taking up more space. Who's with me? We've got to take up more space in this life. Don't be afraid. You're a big deal. Be a big deal. Mm. And Oh, my neck is really feeling it this week. It is messed up. I've been sleeping terribly because the brain will not shut off. We've got to shut off the brain. Get back in the body. Yes. We're gonna start feeling the energy build back up. From the toes up into the legs. Does it make you feel good? It makes me feel good. Especially because I don't care about the dancing. We just gotta get in our body. Be free. Be free. I hope you are dancing. I hope you are up on your feet. Feels good to not sit and stare at a computer screen. Oh! We're at a concert and you're just feeling it. And it takes over. Yes! That's the flow and the mode we want to get in. Huge congrats. I'm so glad you all are here. Hello, hello. Welcome to your midweek dance party. I hope that felt good. I hope it got you off your tush, out of your head, into your body. Because that, that's what we have to do as speakers, to walk into the discomfort of potentially feeling dumb. Did you see my face when my husband walked in the office? I was like, oh, I thought I was by myself, but it turns out I'm not. And that's okay. In fact, it's good. It's good for us. It's really good for us to be faced with those moments where we have to step into the awkwardness. Practicing speaking is awkward. I mean, really speaking itself is kind of awkward. It's not a natural thing that we're trying to make look natural. And part of how we get there is by doing things like this, a midweek speaker dance party, getting into our body. All right, while you are here, let me remind you of a few things. Number one, we, we've got our new Movers You is open, founding members, are now welcome into the community and I'm only opening 50 spots for founding members in December. So if you're thinking about it, reach out to me, we can chat about it. We've already have four spots nabbed out of the 50 and we just opened it yesterday. So I'm very excited and I cannot wait to welcome more of you in. The difference between what happens here in the free Facebook group and over on Movers U is Movers U is more of the educational platform. It's where all the tips and the tools and the resources and the mini courses are all over there and more coaching from me. Here in the group, we're going to continue to do some talk tips. We're, I'm going to keep coming here live. We're going to do our challenges to help you move to the next phase, but the deeper learning happens over in Movers You. I hope that makes sense. Reach out if you have questions. Uh, there's lots of information coming out about it and I'll include the link in the comments so you can check it out. So that's the first thing. The second thing is on the 14th of December, 
I am doing a workshop that will help you strategically plan for your speaking in 2021. So I want you to identify for yourself what, what, how do you use speaking in your business? Where does it fit into your business? If right now you're not doing it and using it intentionally, I want you to identify the ways that you can use it in 2021. We're gonna set some goals. I'm gonna help you understand where you're at and where you could be and how you can get there. Yes, so that's really exciting. Um, and I'll include a link to that workshop as well. It's called Step Into the Spotlight because I'm gonna pull more of you out from the sidelines, out front, so that you can have a bigger impact on your audience. All right, that is it for me. Thanks for joining me for the midweek dance party. I will be back here next Wednesday. I don't know if anybody else dances with me, but I need it. It feels good to me. And uh, typically what I need, other people are at a very similar place. So give me a shout out if you're like, yes, Sally, keep doing the dance parties. Um, and if you're like, I would really rather you do this, whatever this is, let me know that too. Okay, I'm going. Have a great day. Uh, we will see you next week, if not sooner. Oh, I'll be back here tomorrow, actually, in the group, just reminding myself. Haha, <laughs> I know what's happening. Tomorrow at noon, I am talking with you all about something. <laughs> I can't remember right now. This is how, this is why I got to get out of my head and into my body. Um, we are talking about, let me pull it up. I know this, I know this. We are talking about, um, hmm. I can't remember. <laughs> There's a post on this page where you can find it and then figure out what on earth it's gonna be, but it's gonna be great. And it's gonna be a short training, a little digging a little deeper into the episode on Monday. I just can't remember which angle. There were, I talked about three big reasons why we need to work in community as speakers. And then I'm going to take one of those reasons and dig into it a little bit more. So that's tomorrow. Okay. Hopefully I'll see you there. Have a great day, you guys. Talk soon. Bye-bye.